far left. Oh. And sit up nice and tall. So I'm sitting up very tall, so my belly is in. And I'm thinking about my head being pulled up to the ceiling as I sit up very tall. Are you sitting very tall? Of course you are. You're a great growing kid. Now, when we start yoga class, we usually go around and we say our name. My name is Miss Britt. What would you say? You'd say, hi, my name is Amelia. Hi, my name is JJ. Hi, my name is Sagan. Hi, my name is Quinn. Whatever your name is, you practice saying it out loud because your name is awesome. And then we would decide what animal we would be that day. So you could decide what animal you'd like to be today. You can be a different animal every day, but pretending is awesome. Today, I'm going to be a panda. That's my favorite animal. Okay, name, animal. So we're ready. You're ready, I'm ready, the bear in the corner is ready, everybody's ready. So what do we do when we start class? We check that we brought our body and you say, yes, Miss Britt, I brought my body, but I want you to give it a little tap -a -roo and turn it on and make sure you have all the parts that you need. So sit up tall. And if you have a head, touch your head. Touch your head, give it a tap -a -roo, tap -a -roo, tap -a -roo. Oh, gentle to that big old brain you got in there. Now touch your ears and give them a little wiggle. Who can wiggle, 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 jiggle their ears and, and turn them on like nice listening ears in case you need to listen for a train or an animal? And can you touch your nose? Can you make air come in? Air go out. Try one more time, make sure it's working. Tap your nose, make air come in, air go out. Ooh, nice job. Can you touch your chin? Can you do a think? Hmm. Little think a -roo. Hmm. Could you stroke your wizard beard and do a think? Hmm. Look at my nice wizard beard. Hmm. Do you have a neck? Could you say, yes, please? Can you say, no, thank you? And then could you touch your shoulders and turn them on? Ooh, I like this part. I like to move my shoulders up and down, up and down, shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Okay, ready? You tricky tricksters are ready for this, aren't you? Do one, and then the other, and then one, and then the other. I can move my shoulders really, really fast, or I could move them really slow. And then I touch my elbows, and I turn them on, and I bend them, and I bend them, and I say, thank you, elbows. Can you show me your muscles? Nice muscles. Can you show me them upside down? <sighs> my muscles are so big, I have to make a giant sound. <sighs> Can you touch your belly button? Can you turn it on? Can you rub it and turn it on and turn it on? All your power comes from your belly. Remember that. Touch your knees. Tap a roo. Tap, tap, tap a roo. Tap a roo. Tap a roo. Show me that foot. Show me your foot. Can you wave to Miss Britt? Say good morning, Miss Britt. I'm waving with my foot because it's silly and it's fun. We don't have to wave with just hands. Let's wave with our foot. Oh, wait. It's a baby. Could you hold on to your foot, baby? And could you rock it gently? Shh, be very quiet with your foot, baby. Shh, very quiet with your foot, baby. Oh, rock a bye foot, baby. Please go to sleep. The big kids have to do yoga. All right, put your foot, baby, down. Uh-oh, it's twins. Pick up your foot, baby. Other foot, baby. We got twins today. Oh, shh, very gentle and quiet with your foot, baby. Just little rocking movements. Oh, shh quiet little foot baby and then put your other foot baby down nice job you're good at taking care of people that are littler than you now could you put your hands up and can you wiggle your fingers wiggle 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 put your hands together and rub them together rubber 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 are your hands getting warmer are they getting warmer are you almost making a fire with your hands because they're so warm yeah you are one hand on my belly one hand on my heart deep breath in deep breath out say i am ready me too. Let's stand up. You know what to do. All right. So I'm going to take off my socks because you know what? You can wear your socks if you'd like, but sometimes they're slippery for me. And I like to have my bare feet so I can have a nice grip while I'm doing my good movements. All right. So toes and heels together. Nice tall mountain. Tallest, strongest mountain in the whole widest world. Nice job. When I say something, can you repeat after me and copy Miss Britt's body? Of course you can. 
You're amazing. So we'll say, hello, sun. Clap, clap, clap. Hello, earth. Tap, tap, tap. One, two, three, four. Lower your belly down to the floor. Lift your heart up high. Legs are together. Belly's on the floor. And now it is time. You're right, JJ. Snake party. Push your paws into the floor. Lift up your tail. Shake it some more. Bend your knees. Jump forward, please. Deep breath in. Peace within. Nice job. Now, if we do something again, do we get better? That's true. Even if it's something simple, every time we do it, we get better and better and better. So stand up tall like a nice tall mountain and say, hello, sun. Clap, clap, clap. Hello, earth. Tap, tap, tap. One, two, three, four. Lower your belly down to the floor. Lift your heart up high. What, time for a snake party? All right, let's hiss down slowly. Ready? Push your paws into the floor. Lift up your tail. Shake it some more. Oh, stay right here. Have a quick puppy party. Bend your knees. Jump forward, please. Deep breath in. Peace within. Wow, you're good. Could you give yourself a round of applause? Maybe a pat on your back? Two thumbs up? Shall we keep going? Of course we shall. We must move our bodies. So I was thinking what I should do at yoga today, and I was thinking about my favorite things. So I've been singing this song all week. I've been singing, these are a few of my favorite things, and that's from The Sound of Music. And they like raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. And I was thinking, what are my favorite things? And what are your favorite things? I wonder. Well, I'll share some of mine today and maybe we can act them out. So one of my favorite things is my home. Have you ever heard of a place called Cape Cod? Well, it's this place that you have to drive over a bridge to get to and it's near the ocean. So when I think about acting out Cape Cod, first, we gotta go over the bridge. So could you lie on your back? Could you put your feet flat and your arms out straight? Now, could you lift your bottom up and become a bridge? Are you the Sagamore Bridge? Are you the Bourne Bridge? Are you the Train Bridge? I don't know what kind of bridge you are, but you look good. Are you nice and strong so that cars could drive over your body and get to Cape Cod? Of course you are. Now sit up slowly because I was going over this bridge and every time I drive over this bridge, me and Ben and Jack are always looking for, hmm, boats. All right, you know what to do. Feet flat, bend your knees, arms out straight, if you please. You can stay right here. Look at this beautiful boat pose. Or you could lift up your feet and we could sing, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Wow, you're really good. I wonder if you've ever seen any waves in the ocean. I've seen waves, you know, when the water is like, psh, psh. you know about waves? Cool. So could you do me a favor? In case waves knock you over and you have to roll backwards, could you make sure you have lots of space and that you are safe? That there's no Legos or Pokemon or little sisters behind you? You good? All right, let's do this. Feet flat, bend your knees, arms out straight, if you please. Lift up your feet and we'll say, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. <gasps> merrily, 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 life is but a wave. <sighs> Did you come back up? Did you try to balance? Did you go all the way backwards? and then come all the way up and try to get back into your boat? That was crazy. You have to have a very strong belly. Let's try it again. Feet flat, bend your knees, arms out straight if you please. Lift up your feet and we'll say row, row, row your boat. Gently down the wave! Wow! Oh, oh my gosh. I just saw a mermaid when I was in the ocean. 
Did you see anything with your imagination? Let's try one more time. Last time, best time. Feet flat, bend your knees, arms out straight, if you please. And I do please. Lift up your feet and we'll say, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily way! <gasps> that was fun. I like playing in waves. But you know what? Cape Cod. A cod is a type of fish. Did you know that? So when I like to be a fish, I like to put my legs together and lie down and I'm on my elbows. See, I'm on my elbows. Now watch this. This is very tricky business. Could you drop your head back and look backwards? Whoa, this is pretty tricky business being a fish. Maybe you're a cod. Maybe you're a bass. I wonder what fish you are today. Oh, lift that head back up slowly. And then bring those legs up. Bring those arms up. And could you be a quick jellyfish for me? Could you just shake out all your sillies? Sometimes I have so many sillies and I just gotta shake them and shake them and shake them and shake them. And then when I can't think I shake them anymore, I shake them even bigger. And I jelly, jelly, jelly fish. Wow, I love Cape Cod, and I'm so happy it's my home. But you know what? I love other things too. Wanna know what else I like to do? I'm gonna tell you. One of my favorite things is counting, which is really helpful in yoga. Because sometimes when we get into these poses, we have to try to stay there, and it's very tricky. So watch this. Let's stand up tall. Bring your feet apart arms out straight, bend your knees and sit down in a pretend chair. Now, stay in your chair, stretch your fingers out, lift your bum back, stay in your chair and ready, we're gonna count to 10. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Did you stay in your chair the whole time? Oh, that was tricky. All right, let's see what else we can count in. Could you bring your weight into one foot? Could you make tiny wings? Could you lift up the other foot and be a flamingo? All right, let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Did you do it the whole time? Oh man, you're good. Try the other leg. But wait, you know what else I've been learning to do? Let's count to 10 in Spanish. We'll say uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Whoa. Did you make it the whole time? Were you counting with me? Oh man, counting is awesome. But you know what else I like to do? I like drawing. Do you ever draw pictures of things? You could draw anything. But you know what I like to do first when I draw? I need a pencil. So could you stand up tall and bring your arms over your head, bring your hands together and be a really tall pencil? Are you very tall pencil? Oh, excellent. Good for writing. Okay. Come down because now I need a table to write on. Are you a table? Are you on your knees and your hands? And if I needed to draw a picture on your back, I could do that because it's flat? Oh, nice. Oh, let me show you a cool trick or -roo. Do you want to reverse your table? Let's try it. So could you bring your feet out? Come up onto your hands. Now watch this tricky business. My reverse table, if it feels okay, I drop my head backwards. Whoa, tricky business. Now, we were doing some schoolwork at home yesterday and we were drawing shapes. So let's see if we could be a triangle. You've heard of triangles before, you know, triangle. Three points make a triangle. So could you bring your feet out wide? Could you turn one foot out to the side? Could you put your arms out wide? Could you then bring one arm down and look at that. 
Miss Britt, is a triangle. See this hand? This is the top of my triangle. And my feet are the bottom of the triangle. Are you a triangle? I'm sure you're a very strong triangle. Could you come back up slowly? Let's see if we could do the other side. Are you ready? Bend down low and become a triangle. Wow, nice triangle. Come back up. I wonder what other shapes you could make with your body. Probably some really good ones. But I also like to draw things for my imagination. So let's draw a warrior. Could you bring your feet out wide? Now we're gonna do warrior two. Remember counting? One, two. Okay, ready? If I'm warrior number two, I bring my foot out, arms out, I bend my knee, and then what kind of noises do warriors make? Are they like, ha, or are they like, ha? What kind of warrior noises would you make when you draw this magic warrior? Could you come back up? Let's try to bend the other knee. Let's see. Bend this knee, come down low, and then what kind of noises would your warrior make? Would it be like, ha? I don't know. You're the warrior and you're drawing with your imagination. I wonder if you'll draw something today. Maybe you could draw something for me. I would love that, but I've got more favorite things. And you know what I've got? I wonder if anyone knows this word. It's called friendship. Friendship? I love friendship. I think friendship is the best thing in the whole wide world and I know a secret. You can never have too many friends. You can make new friends every day and have old friends and new friends and have all the friends. So terrific. But here's the deal. When you need a f to be a friend, you've got to open up your heart. So we're going to do some things to open up our heart. And first, we're going to do camel pose. So watch Miss Brent. I'm standing up on my knees. And then I'm going to put my hands on my back. Do you see that? So my hands are on my back. And I'm on my knees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna push my hips forward and my belly forward and I'm gonna drop my head back. Can you do that? Now, do you see that my heart is stretching open wide? Okay, now maybe if you're a tricky trickster, you could reach all the way back and see if you could touch your heels. Now go slow and if it doesn't feel good, please do not do it. When we come back up, See if you can slowly and gently come back up. Oh man, my heart is wide open. Oh, I feel so good, I'm ready for friendship. Who could I be friends with? Oh, I know, I could be friends with a baby. Let's be a happy baby. Let's see if we can be friends with a baby. Could you grab onto your toes and could you Grab on, and if you've ever met a baby, you ever see a baby hang out like this on their mat? They're like, goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. Maybe you're a big brother or sister, and you've seen babies do these things. Well, I like being friends with babies. Babies are the best. Wow! But you know who else I like to be friends with? Do you have any friends that are dogs? I love being friends with dogs. So could we get back into downward dog? Do you remember that from Hello Sun? Could you come up like this into downward dog? Now, are you shaking your tail? Maybe you're a big dog and you say, bow wow. Maybe you're a little dog and you say, yip, 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 yip. I wonder what kind of dog noises you make. Wow. Now, could you come onto your knees? Because you know who else I like to be friends with? Cats and cows. Cats and cows are bestest friends. So if I want to be a cat, I lift up my back like a big black Halloween cat. And when I want to be a cow, I lower my belly down and I say, moo. Could you lift your back up and say, meow? And then could you lower your belly and say, moo? Moo. Meow. Moo. Oh, 
Oh man, that's really fun to be friends with a cat and a cow. Oh, I want to be friends with everybody. Oh, but you know what? I have more favorite things. It's springtime. And in springtime, I wonder if any of you have been doing this. One of my favorite things is to, to play in the dirt, to do some gardening, to do some planting. Have you done anything outside like that? Maybe you have. So let's think about gardening. So let's stand up. Gardening, gardening, gardening. So I know I need sun and I need rain. So first, grab some sun and put it in your belly. Ready? Ha! Can you make that noise? Grab some sun, put it in your belly. Ha! Grab some sun, put it in your belly. Ha! All right, your belly's full of sun. But the funny thing is, is plants also need rain. So can you bring your toes together? Can you make some rain with your hands? And can you make the rain fall all the way down to the ground? Come back up. We need a little bit more rain. Get your rain fingers going. And then let your rain fall all the way down so it can water all the plants. Great job. So now that we've got sun and we've got rain, you want to know what's growing? It's flowers, so could you cross your legs? Put your hands behind your head. And I want you to see if you can bring your forehead down in front of you. And if you can't get your forehead on the ground, that's okay, Miss Britt can't do that. But I'm bringing my forehead down as low as I can go. And then I take a deep breath in and I grow, ready? And now I'm a beautiful flower. Oh, that was so fun. One more time, bring your head down, ready? Take a deep breath in and grow. Oh, that was good. You're a beautiful flower, but you know who loves to hang out with flowers? You're right, butterflies. Can you put your feet together? Can you hold on to your feet? And then could you flap your butterfly wings? Flap, flap, flap a -roo, flapping like a butterfly do. That's exactly correct grammar. Flap, flap, flap a -roo. Wait a minute, do you have double wings? Oh, do you have tiny wings? Are you a monarch butterfly? Are you a rainbow butterfly? Maybe you flap your wings really fast. Maybe you gotta hold on to your feet because your wings are so fast. Or maybe you flap them really slow. However you like to go is perfect. Man, gardening is fun. But you know what? I have a couple more favorite things. Now I wonder if any of you enjoy this. Sometimes, if I'm in a, a crabby mood, I'm like, hmm, like that. Like my face is like, hmm. Sometimes are, are you mad or sad or frustrated? That can happen. But wanna know a trick? The best way to get happy? Do you wanna know? I'm gonna teach you. It's singing. Oh, <gasps> singing? Do you ever sing? You're like, la 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 la, that's what you say? La 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 la. Oh, nice singing. But you know what? I wonder if we could sing the ABCs while holding ourselves in alligator pose like an alligator alphabet. This is very tricky. So if you need to bring your knees down, no worries. So come out like this. See, Miss Britt's body is very long, and I'm gonna come up like this, and I'm gonna see if I can hold myself up, and I'm gonna say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Ooh, I'm dancing. Next time, won't you sing with me? Wow, did you hold yourself up? That was such a long time because there's 26 letters in the alphabet, 26. Amazing, you're amazing. But you know what? I have another song I like to sing. Could you stand up? You know how Miss Britt loves learning about our body. Have you ever heard this song before? It's called Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Let's try it, ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, 
Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <gasps> Whoa! Have you ever sung that at school? It's so fun! All right, let's think. The last thing is while I'm singing, sometimes I like to try to do dancer pose because singing and dancing, I think, go together. Now watch this. Do you think you could pick up your foot? This is super tricky. So try to pick up your foot. Maybe you need to hold on to something like a wall, but try to pick up your foot and then bring your arm out straight. Now, if you get the wigglies, just put your foot down and try again. But if you can, try to lean forward and kick your foot back and become a dancer. Whoa, now I'm kicking my foot back and I'm leaning forward and maybe you get super crazy wigglies. That's great, that means your muscles are learning. That's a very tricky thing to do. Let's see if we can pick up the other foot and try. I wonder if we could do that. So I've got this foot. Oh, I got wigglies, gotta try again. All those wigglies. Okay, so first, maybe I'll just balance here today. Maybe I'll practice picking up my foot. But then maybe, if I'm a dancer, maybe I could lean forward and kick my foot backwards and be in dancer pose. And maybe while I'm in dancer, I could sing, I could say, la la la. Wow, I'm so glad you tried that one. It's super tricky. It took Miss Bright years to do that. So no worries if you fall out, that just means you're learning. Uh-oh. You wanna know what Miss Britt's favorite thing is also? It's howling at the moon. Do you know what that means? Do you know that wolves howl at the moon? Did you know that? Okay, so let's try it together. So if you're a wolf and it's a full moon, you would say, ow, 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 ow. Can you make a wolf noise? Fun. Now let's see if we could be a half moon. So I take my hand and I bring it to the ground. I lift up my other arm and I lift up my foot and now I'm in half moon. This is pretty tricky business and you're pretty awesome for trying. But now slowly come back up because I want to see if we could do the other side. Okay, ready? Take my hand, find the floor, other hand up, lift up my leg. Whoa, nice job, everyone. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, come back down. Wow, that was good. But while I was howling at the moon, I saw a bunch of stars. So can you get wide like a star? Really, really bright, bright star. So stretch your fingers to the side, Get big and wide because you are a shiny star and you take up a lot of space because you are beautiful and you are bright. But could we be a shooting star? Could you say pew and touch the ground? Oh, come back up. Another shooting star, ready? Pew and touch the ground. Wait, come back up. Last time, best time. Pew, shooting star, wait, stay here. Put one hand on your mat and lift the other up to the sky, and now we're a twisted star. Wow, you look magnificent. Now, ready? Could you bring one hand down and lift up the other hand to the sky? That's pretty tricky business. Think about how to move your body, and it doesn't need to look perfect. All that matters is that you try. Now, come back up. Wow, that was really good. You're really good. So now I have one last very favorite thing. And I share this favorite thing with my friend Nikolai and a lot of my friends at Rooted Yoga Cape Cod. So we like to do cheetah feet. So are you ready? We don't run forward. We don't run backwards. We move our feet as fast as we can when Miss Britt says one, two, three cheetah feet. You can do that. You're very, very smart. Okay, ready? One two, three, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, freeze. Could you freeze? Can you move really fast and then freeze? Ready? One, two, three, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, cheetah feet. Oh, freeze. Did you freeze? Good job. One, two, three, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, freeze. Last time, best time. 
One, two, three. Two feet, two feet, two feet, two feet. Faster, 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 faster. Come on, Jack. Come on, JJ. Faster, faster, faster. Cheetah, 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 cheetah. <gasps> Freeze. Wow. That was terrific. Could you sit down? Okay. Could you cross your legs? Could you bring your hands together so we could breathe like a volcano? So do you know about lava? It's in volcanoes, so mix up some lava. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a deep breath in my nose and I'm gonna lift my hands up like this. And then I'm gonna let all the lava flow and blow it out, ready? Nice, let's try it again. Deep breath in, lava flows. Do you think we could do it three times really fast? Of course you can, you're awesome, ready? really good. I love a good volcano. All right. Cross your legs, sit up tall. Now I want you to tap your head, tap your shoulders, tap your belly, tap your knees, tap the floor, give yourself a hug. Oh, give it a little squeeze, a really good hug. Say, great job, body. Thank you, body. Oh, great body. All right, two hands up. Wiggle your fingers. Put your hands together, rub them together. Come on, you got this. We're gonna finish strong together. We're gonna rub our hands. One hand on our belly, one hand on our heart. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Say, I am strong. Yeah, you are. Two hands up, two hands together. Rub them together, rub those hands. Rub all the magic, make all the energy. One hand on my belly, one hand on my heart. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Say, I am kind. Yeah, you are. Last time, best time, two hands together. Rub those hands, rub them high, rub them low, rub them fast, rub them very slow. One hand on my belly, one hand on my heart. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Say, I am a great kid. Yeah. You are, you are a great kid. Every day you get to wake up and be a great kid. You get to decide to be kind. You get to decide to be brave and strong and you can do hard things. I'm missing all you guys, but I know you're doing a fantastic job. I wonder what your favorite things are. I wonder if you have to make a list of some of your favorite things. Maybe it's jumping in puddles, maybe it's swimming. I wonder what your favorite things are. And then remember, whenever you might have that sad face, that mad face, you could take your list of favorite things and I'm sure they would make you happy again. Huh, what a wonderful world. So keep singing, keep drawing, keep dancing, and keep howling at the moon. I love you guys very, very, very much. And at the end of our play, we put our hands together and we say, namaste. Meaning, I see the light in you, that you are a wonderful, awesome kid. You see the light in me, that I'm a wonderful, awesome adult kid. And together, we are all awesome. Take care of your family. Send me lots of pictures. I love you. Namaste.